The Masters is mostly a place we don't get surprised. 24-year-old Jordan Spieth has already had a remarkable career here. That he played so well on Thursday made perfect sense. The same could be said for Rory McIlroy in search of a career Grand Slam. Or Phil Mickelson, three times a Masters champion. But in the great game of expectation, time and again, Surprise walked away a day one winner. Over his career, Tiger Woods had been 150 under on Augusta National's par fives. He still is. On Thursday, he played the three shotters in level par. I had some good shots early, and unfortunately I just didn't, didn't continue it. Nowhere in golf does experience seem more valuable than here. So, then were you expecting an amateur in his first ever Masters round to be nine shots better than the defending champion playing in his 67th? The disparity, though, almost entirely the result of one unfortunate episode that nightmarishly presented itself again and again. Yes, experience at Augusta National matters. So how many then were thinking that another Masters rookie from a country which had previously sent a total of just two professionals to the tournament over eight decades would lead for much of the day? And how many thought that Tony Finau, yet another first-timer, would even be able to play after wrenching his ankle on Wednesday and starting Thursday by getting an MRI? It was mind over matter for me. You know, when I, when I played, I told myself, you know, we're gonna think our way through this golf course. I've been preparing. Let's try not to think about the ankle and just see how it plays out. And it seemed like each hole, and, and as we progressed in the round, I felt better and better and stopped thinking about it. No matter how clear-cut the stories, no matter how much information we come with, rarely do we walk away from days like this with the neatly packaged outcome we were expecting. Golf surprises us time and time again. It did in round one of the 82nd Masters.